Hey everyone, welcome to the first ever episode of Sweet Life TV, a video podcast series themed around technology, where we plan on talking about current trends and the future of things and uh, bring really interesting guests across different industries. We have great guests on board for every episode, different subject matter experts in their field. Uh, today's guest is actually an excellent, excellent dude. We met at Sweet World earlier this year, and the topic of the episode is going to be innovative payment process in 2019. So, how is the user experience evolving across different businesses? Welcome to Sweet Life TV, your one stop tech talk where we discover the best business tools with the experts behind them. Film live on set at Guru's headquarters in Montreal. Guru Solutions is North America's largest Oracle NetSuite ERP services provider. Visit their website at gurusolutions.com with your hosts, Ethan Bozoglu and John Serino. Hey guys, so today we're going to be sitting down with uh, Mark Paley, VP of Sales at Cardinox, first ever episode of Sweet Life TV, so we're all excited to be on board. To talk a little bit about Mark and his background, uh, prior to working at Cardinox, he was actually a financially acclaimed financial advisor in the insurance and financial services industries. Uh, he's won multiple awards, including national recognition as Northwestern Mutual's national bronze leader. So under, under the direction of Cardinox, uh, Mark has worked for high profile companies like Goodyear, Game Exchange, Eagle Rider, and a few more you might recognize. He's also appeared at conferences like America's Retail Now uh, and the very popular Shark Tank type show for the Jewish community of entrepreneurs in America called Biz Tank. Yeah, you know what? First of all, uh, Mark, thank you for joining us. Uh, I know you're a really busy individual and uh, I don't even know where you find the time to get all of that done. So thanks a lot. We appreciate having you here. Sure. Thank you so much for, for having us and, and uh, for partnering with us as well. So can you uh, talk to us a little bit more about Cardnox and, and what it is your, your company does? Um, Cardnox is the most flexible and customizable uh, payment solution in uh, the United States and Canada, um, as well as uh, with a nice, solid global platform as well. Um, we offer our robust payment gateway, which is our technology arm, as well as our parent company, Fidelity Payment Services, which is our payment processing arm. Uh, Fidelity is uh, First Data's largest retail ISO, so obviously we're, we're you know quite a large um, payment processor as well. What exactly led to the creation of Cardnox? So Fidelity has been around since '96, so we've been around for 22 years. Um, offices in the U.S., the U.K., and Canada, and um, we uh, decided to go into the payment gateway business after working with uh, pretty much every other payment gateway in the industry and realizing that the technology needs um, were not as cutting edge as we were looking for, mm -hmm. um, did not offer you know, the most flexibility, customization, et cetera. And in many cases just did not provide um, you know, the, the ability for us, for, for our clients um, to, to, to do what they needed uh, from a secure and frictionless uh, customer experience. You know, uh, you work with a lot of modern businesses and the whole idea is you want to make them as cutting edge as possible with your optimized payment solutions. I'd love to hear from you, Mark, what you think about, you know, what does being cutting edge mean in the 21st century? What is, how does a business that's been around for 20, 30 years modernize themselves to suit a new clientele? So I, I mean, there's there's many different um, many different needs that businesses face um, today. But um, you know, one of the one of the catchphrases that I've always taught my team and I've always tried to exude is um, you know we, we we have an expression. Um, Dunkin' Donuts has an expression which is caught on. America runs on Dunkin', and I like to say um, you know really America today may not run on Dunkin', but America actually runs on. Um, software, POS providers, um, e-commerce platforms. The hub of, of America is really on software solutions, integrated solutions, et cetera. Um, and, and, you know, there's been a massive shift uh, between the mom and pop, uh, you know, store selling their widgets or what have you, um, uh, and just, you know, using the back of a napkin to tally things up um, to, to comprehensive software um, that's simple, efficient, and seamless. So essentially, they're looking for, I think today, 
you need a seamless customer experience. Um, and uh, I think it's integral that, that um, you know, world-class customer service um, and a seamless experience is, is definitely part of the experience. You know, and it's really interesting you say that with, um, with so many different companies focusing on enhancing that customer experience, both in and both online and, and both even in brick and mortar. That's exactly the kind of space where NetSuite and an, an ERP, quite frankly, works really well with your payment solutions. What do you think uh, are the, the game changers for, for those kind of hybrid companies? I think that, that, that the greatest thing that these hybrid models offers is it offers the ultimate customer experience and flexibility. Um, where would you like your product? Would you like it delivered or would you like to come pick it up? Um, there, and there are so many areas where this, this uh, presents itself. I, I mean, one of, the, one of the most incredible things, is we, work, we work with a uh, software for grocery stores. And um, to me, it was shocking um, that they offer an, an online grocery experience. Not that they offer it, but that people actually use it. And because I can't imagine picking out, having someone else pick out my tomatoes for me. Um, and, and I was talking to, to this developer and I said to him, I, I mean, do people really do that? And he said, you'd be shocked because the stores actually pick out, you know, the best of the best um, because they want to ensure a repeat customer experience. They want to ensure a seamless customer experience. And it's incredible. But yeah, the, the customer experience is, is definitely um, central to that. And um, I think we're going to continue to see innovations in the cust- you know, it, to, to assist the customer with the greatest experience. You know, given what you do at Cardnox and how, how sensitive it is to manage a, a, a company's finances, we think about cybersecurity. I noticed on, when I was on your website that you guys do a lot of work uh, and on cybersecurity and you take it very seriously and your, your products are in place to ensure uh, the safety of the users. But what we take for granted, I, I think this long-winded point that I'm trying to make is uh, we think of cybersecurity as uh, something that happens online strictly. But then we look at uh, you know, what Cardnox does and, and the services you provide and it, it, it impacts brick and mortar as well, right? It's still ultimately payment processes are in the, in the cloud as well. No, absolutely. And, and given your experience, I thought I'd love to ask, why do you think cybersecurity is such a massive topic these days? I mean, just to expand on that question a little bit, I think it's a really pressing issue nowadays because it's not just uh, retail businesses. It's not just e-commerce that has data breaches, yeah. right? It's banks. Yeah. And that's scary. Well, even, I mean, when you when you look at uh, what we do, right? Uh, yeah. So, you know, Guru Solutions is our, our, our biggest sponsor here at Sweet Life TV. And even what we do in terms of handling sensitive information uh, and from a financial aspect, from an operations management, from how do you think we can improve it further? You're, you're not going to find a company... Um, just a major brand name that hasn't been impacted by cyber, by you know by a cybersecurity hack. Um, some famous examples are, are you know which we've all probably experienced: Target, Yahoo, um, Capital One. Data breaches happen to everyone. Um, you know, there's constantly things that that we're doing that are um, addressing those needs and addressing those concerns. Uh, whether it's you know one of the things we've done here at Cardinax is we've tried to be. Um, you know, one step or six to 18 months ahead of what we think might be the next shoe to drop. So whether it's um, tokenization, which was something we've been doing um, really since we started, is um, what it does is it takes the 15 or 16 digit credit card number um, and converts it into a 32 digit alphanumeric code so that subsequent transactions can be, can then be used. So for example, um, uh, whether that's in a card present environment um, where someone initially walks in with a store and then says, keep my credit card on file or in an e or in an e-commerce environment where there's recurring transactions such as a health club uh, and a gym or, um, or it could be a, a nonprofit, a charity doing recurring transactions. Um, it essentially the tokenization allows them to store the credit card data while remaining what we call out of scope of PCI compliance. So that's been a very big deal. Um, there's also been a lot of new trends on the e- in, on the e-commerce front because that's definitely um, a massive source of breaches. Um, 3D Secure, which we may want to talk about later, um, but that's been also something that that uh, we've done and the industry has done to try to prevent um, uh, data breaches. Yeah, in fact, um, you know, I've been looking at the industry a little bit, and I'm wondering, like, the companies that do come to you for for 
your products and services, what are some of the most common pain points? What are their what are their needs? What are the things that at the forefront of their conversations when they approach you? Three things that 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 I think um, affects every single company, and this goes from top to bottom. Um, the first thing is um, the first thing is they want a frictionless checkout process. Um, they want a seamless customer experience. That, that's the first thing. Um, and, and just to give a statistic on that, 67% of customers reported they're willing to pay more for a great experience. Um, I could tell you two fascinating stories. Maybe they're not so fascinating. But I went grocery shopping with my wife yesterday. We were uh, checking out at the cashier, who she's obviously met before. And the cashier just had this look on her face like, I would rather be anywhere else but right here. Um, and uh, my wife said to me, um, unsolicited, unprompted, she said to me, you know what? Um, I, I really need to reevaluate where I shop because with this cashier, it is the same experience every time. And that lousy look on her face um, just completely ruins the experience. So that definitely um, authenticates the 67% the of customers willing to pay more for a better experience. Um, I'll give you one more uh, recent vignette. Um, I, was in, um, I was in a third world country in Eastern Europe um, just uh, two weeks ago. And um, I was staying at a hotel, and this is the fanciest hotel in the capital of the country. Uh, prime ministers stay there, presidents stay there. It's, it's literally the bomb. Okay, and um, they put one water bottle in your room. You have to be careful with drinking the water, very careful. Um, got a hepatitis shot before I left. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't come back with anything more than that. Um, and um, I asked them at the front desk, I said, would you mind providing me with a second water bottle? Um, in the US, I travel a lot. Um, and uh, you know, a second water bottle, a fifth water bottle, a 12th water bottle, that's par for the course. Um, and um, in this country in Eastern Europe, in the front desk, they said to me, one water bottle, one day, boom. Um, the customer experience, and this is a, the fanciest hotel, the customer experience was very subpar. So I, I would say uh, frictionless customer experience, frictionless checkout process is really number one on front and center. Um, the other points I would make, though, is, is uh, they want to have cutting edge technology. Um, they want to have the latest and greatest. Uh, EMV was a big deal, um, October of 2015, with the U.S., the advent of the liability chip, which in layman's terms just means you have to have EMV, you have to have that little chip, um, was something that all stores realized over time. It took some time, uh, but they realized they needed to have, and that was something we were first to market with as well, and we were definitely helpful with, with providing that value to the American public. Um, the last point I would make is data security, which is something we've, we've definitely touched on, um, but breaches is something that scares the bejesus out of everybody. And uh, we have to be careful with, um, with data breaches and ensure that we are consistently ahead of you know, the next shoe to drop. Not only are you working with a lot of leading e-commerce companies, um, but you also have a lot of experience speaking with some entrepreneurs. Like uh, I know we we've I've watched you on Biz Tank where you get to meet a lot of young innovative people that are working on solutions for tomorrow. I guess so. You know, like my, my question is, having that background and that knowledge, what do you see uh, being the future of of payments, of online payments? So uh, we we touched before on um, we touched before on biometrics. Um, I think biometrics is probably. Um, one of the biggest things, biometrics, again, being um, a unique identifier um, to, you know, to, to, um, to connect the individual with the, with the payment. So that could be uh, with a fingerprint, it could be with face identification, it could be voice rec recognition. Um, so that's, that's one thing. Um, the other thing that we've seen, and, and this is an incredible trend um, that we definitely feel is going to um, definitely be a, you know, at the forefront of innovation um, and definitely one of the leading technologies um, is what's called the PAYFAC model, um, P-A-Y-F-A-C, which, which stands for Payment Facilitator. Um, and what that is, is you've seen companies like Stripe and Square um, that have offered this model of flat rate, three points, flat rate, seamless onboarding, no monthly fees. Okay. So it's a simple, easy model. Now, I can't say that their product is the cheapest. I can't say they're as developer friendly as we are. I can't say they're as EMV um, friendly as we are. Um, but at the same time, the model of the PayFAC, which is, again, flat rate, 
seamless onboarding, so there's no friction there, right? And no monthly fees is something that people do like. You know, speculating a little bit about, uh, you know, the future of payments, um, I don't know if you heard about this, but a little while back, Amazon released uh, actual brick and mortar stores where you go in and you basically pick things up and it transacts your payment automatically by the time you leave the store. That's, uh, I thought that was a really, really cool concept when I read about it. And it really gave me like some insight into where payments and the user experience is heading towards. What are your thoughts about that? I definitely think that there's going to be hybrid models that are going to continue to grow. Uh, Amazon has definitely been a leader in that. Um, but really, most major retailers, um, I would give Walmart as the example, um, you know, as, as a great example of a company that um, has uh, combined um, the brick and mortar experience with the online experience. Um, so uh, first of all, yeah, there's definitely been a flight to um, um, whether it's biometrics or whether it's um, um, or, or whether it's uh, contactless payments. So an Apple Pay, an Android Pay, um, uh, a, um, you know, using their Apple Watch, et cetera. Um, but you know, also biometrics and, and biometrics meaning um, face or, um, or, or fingerprint, something that's unique to you. Uh, one of the things that actually that, that allows that to, um, first of all, it's convenient. Um, so let's say you're going jogging. You have no money on you, no credit card, no nothing, and you're literally walking down the street. You can actually walk into a coffee store, um, walk into a bakery, you can walk somewhere, and merrily by using your face or your fingerprint, um, you're able to, um, to make a payment. Um, you know, going back to the, to the Apple and Android pay, so you know, uh, if you just have your phone, and again, you don't have your actual um, credit card or cash, et cetera, um, so you're able to use your phone through um, the Apple Pay and Android Pay as well. So contactless is definitely something that um, you know, companies are, um, are adapting to. Uh, one of the other uh, interesting trends that we've seen is that uh, roughly 20% of people um, do not carry cash in their wallet at all. Wow. Yeah, I totally feel you there. Um, honestly, every time that I go into a store now and they tell me, hey, cash only, I'm like, great, I don't have any on me. I have a card, I have my phone, but yeah, it's it's a big turnoff nowadays. If you only, if a place is cash only, it's a massive detriment to their financials. So uh, Mark, uh, John mentioned that, you know, Guru Solutions, or our sponsor is uh, one of the largest NetSuite partners in North America. I know uh, Cardnox has a really powerful integrated solution that combines with NetSuite. Can you talk a little bit about where the gap is and how that integration can help an e-commerce business today? Um, there's really two ways that one can accept payments. One can accept payments in a um, standalone environment whereby the payments are not reflected in the software in the ERP system or what have you um, and what that does is it allows for, it, it can allow for reconciliation nightmares um, we call shrinkage shrinkage means customers stealing things and I mean customers or or people in the store stealing things and a, an integrated solution allows you know tracking the inventory to the specific payment. Mark, you've been, uh, uh, you know, you've been amazing. It's been a pleasure having you on our show. We really appreciate it. You guys have been amazing hosts. Yeah, thank you very much. We, uh, we really sincerely appreciate you taking the time. I know how, again, I know how busy you are. I don't even know how you find the time to, to go through your schedule. Uh, but thank you again. And uh, by the way, uh, to our viewers, um, if you want to meet Mark, he's actually going to be at Money 2020 at the end of October. Is that right? Yeah. And that's in Las Vegas, and it's the uh, biggest uh, fintech event. So um, you can get to meet Mark there if you want to speak to him. Or, uh, you know, for any payment uh, needs, Cardnox is the way to go. And you know what? We'll be dropping the links below as well, so you guys will be able to check out everything that we're talking about right now. Yeah, 100%. So you can either go directly to their website or check out the links at the bottom in the description of this video. And, uh, you know, I, I don't want to leave out our sponsor, Guru Solutions. Uh, any ERP or NetSuite needs, do check us out. Um, yeah. GuruSolutions.com or again, check out the uh, links at the bottom of this video. And again, thanks for joining, Mark. You've been an excellent guest and hope to talk to you again soon.